Welcome back to Term 4. I hope everyone was able to get outside and enjoy some sunshine over the break, albeit only 5 kilometres from your home. I certainly bumped into many families on my daily walks around the community. Well, we are all very excited to have students returning to the college. With all students returning to remote learning this week, the Premier Daniel Andrews and Minister for Education James Molino yesterday announced that subject to the final health advice, Year 7s in Melbourne Metropolitan will be resuming face-to-face -face learning from next Monday the 12th of October. Students in Year 8 to 10 will return from Monday the 26th of October. This new announcement brings the alignment of all Year 7 students returning to face-to-face -face learning with all Prep to 6 and Year 11 and 12 students as we were informed during the school holiday period. All students are continuing with remote learning this week. All staff will be returning to on-site work as of Thursday the 8th of October to prepare for students returning on Monday. A reminder that this Wednesday the 7th of October is a curriculum planning day for all staff. Uh, uh, there'll be no WebEx and Google Meets on this day. It is also the GAT exam for all students completing a VCE Year 12 subjects. I would like to personally wish all Year 12 students the very best for the term prior to their final year exams. My thoughts and best wishes are with you all. During this time, you have had the most difficult of years and applied yourself to the best of your ability. Good luck. Term 4 College Goals. As a college, we are committed to supporting students' transition back to face learning. We know this will be seamless for many students, but we also know that many students have faced additional challenges whilst at home and will need additional support on their return. So we will ensure that students who are thriving and require extension work will be cared for, along with those that need individual support to help catch up on some missed learning. Terminology being used in the UK is around a recovery curriculum that has a strong focus on student wellbeing, re-establishing routines and peer and teacher relationships. We will also be prioritising transitioning back to face learning in the college and into 2021 for all students. This will be the language our staff will adopt to support all students' ongoing learning and individual needs during Term 4. Student and staff safety. A combination of strategies is required to minimise transmission risk. No single strategy completely reduces risk and not every measure will always be feasible and applicable to our college. All strategies will consistently be adjusted over time in line with changing risks of transmission in the community and from the guidance of the Chief Health Officer and ongoing feedback from our community and families. As has been my constant focus throughout this pandemic, the safety and wellbeing of all students and staff. This will not change. All decisions I make will be in the best interest of your children and my staff. Here are the main points. Students will be encouraged to social distance 1.5 metres apart wherever possible, both inside and outside of the classroom. We know this is more difficult at times with younger students, but we will do our best. Sanitizer and soap will be available for all students. Students will be regularly guided and encouraged to practice good hygiene on arrival to school, before and after eating, blowing the noise, nose and after bathroom visits. All students should bring their own water bottle from home. Students should not drink directly from the drinking fountains, but use them to refill their bottles. There is to be no sharing of food. Students aged 12 and above are required to wear a mask while at school and travelling to and from school. Students from prep to year six are not required to wear a face mask whilst at school. A face mask must cover the nose and mouth uh, is the only permitted type of covering from the department. This does not apply to students who are exempt due to medical conditions. Use of shared equipment will be avoided or minimised where possible. And additional cleaning or disinfecting will apply where this is unavoidable. Staff must follow all physical distancing measures between themselves and from students where appropriate. Teachers and educational support staff are not required to wear a face mask whilst teaching. We are encouraging staff to be flexible with their learning programs and go outside where possible and to have airflow ventilation in the rooms. 
students do not need to be temperature checked on school arrival uh, on their return. Additional cleaning will continue to be implemented in the high traffic learning and outdoor spaces. There will be no mass gatherings of students for assemblies, meetings or celebrations. Parent support requirements. It is my responsibility as principal to ensure parents and carers do not congregate at any one time during pick up and drop off. So, please limit your time on site when pick up and dropping off your child. Go directly to your child's class to pick up and drop off. Junior school students can be dropped off directly to their classroom between 8.30 and 8.50, which is a 20 minute window and pick up of children in the junior school can commence from three to quarter past three. This worked effectively earlier in the year, so we will continue with this strategy. Parents are not permit permitted to enter any classrooms. Please encourage uh, any older siblings or self-management of your child where it is safe and practical to make their own way to the classroom independently from college entry points to reduce the volume of additional adults on site, reducing transmission possibilities. Access onto school grounds is limited between 8.30 and 8.50 for drop-off and after 3pm for pick-up only. Parents are to direct all inquiries to the administration areas. All staff contact will be via phone calls or emails, no face-to-face -face discussions. Parents must not congregate on school grounds for conversations with other students or family friends. All students are to be in the college summer uniform. PSW is open for click and collect and delivery if required. If your child is displaying any COVID-19 symptoms, please keep them at home for the safety of all other students and staff and seek medical advice. I need to acknowledge and express my gratitude to all families in supporting similar guidelines during the first wave of restrictions. Your vigilance and commitment certainly had a significant impact on us not having any students or staff members contact, uh, contracting COVID-19 and being forced to close. I have full confidence that you will continue to put the safety of your children, their friends and our community and staff first during this second wave of restrictions. We are in this together and can only see if we collectively work together. I hope and pray that life will return to the new normal for us all so we can continue to come together with friends, family and loved ones shortly. I'm expecting continued changes and updates from the Premier and the Department throughout the term and will continually keep you informed regularly of these impacts on your child. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact your child's teacher, your area principal or myself. Here's to a successful term four. Stay safe and well.